According to reports today, the Freaking Group have received Premier League approval for their takeover of Everton Football Club. It doesn't mean that the owners and directors test is all complete. It just means that the Premier League have given their approval to the takeover so far. It has to go to the oversight committee. And that really is a case of making sure everything has been done correctly. If that is the case, they'll then pass that. And that will lead to a formal announcement that the owners and directors test has been passed and that the freaking group are the new owners of Everton Football Club. Now, no matter what happens, that's a big, big step today. It's a big, uh, big piece of news. We have been in the, you know, there have been indications earlier in the week that that was about to happen anyway, or had happened. It has now. Um, it's got to be rubber stamped, of course. It feels like a formality. There's obviously always a bit of caution until it is completely and utterly uh, confirmed. But this is definitely a big uh, step in the right direction. Everton uh, still expect that process to be completed by the middle of next week. Uh, that is the seems to be the forecast. And now, I think it's really good news. Obviously, we've been in limbo for a long time. We've known Farad Mashiri wanted investment or wanted someone to come in and buy the football club from him. We've had nearly nearly men of MSP, even the Kaminsky group at one stage, Triple Seven, uh, Andy Bell and George Downing, John Texter with the freaking group twice, but it is the freaking group who seem to have completed that pro, just about to complete that process now. And Everton can have new owners next week and then hopefully begin a reset of the football club and move forward. Um, new stadium, things like that on the horizon. <clears throat> it is exciting and a nice Christmas present, I think, for all Evertonians. Uh, news today about Everton's new stadium, and that is the football club are extending Everton Way at the Everton new stadium. Um, basically, this is where you can buy a stone. The prices range from £65 up to £500, and you get your name in it or your family's name or whoever can get it in and they are going to be laid all around the ground it is a it's it looks brilliant it will look brilliant uh, the club has said that everton way the unique walkway at the club stadium made up of fan inspired engraved granite stones is to be extended due to further popular demand everton's way a uh, larger footprint means the walkway which will feature everton giants and personalized stones from evertonian across the world will now form a wider section along the entire length of the exterior of the spectacular South Stand. The new inventory is now on sale with a limited number of ingrained granite stones being made available. These stones, which will be available in a range of sizes and designs, can be ordered. You can go onto Everton's website. The link is there with the story. Go on, click, choose what you want on that stone. Uh, it makes probably a brilliant Christmas present, wouldn't it? Um, but you missed out last time because they did sell out, I think, in 24 hours last time. You've got the opportunity to go and get your stone now. There you go. Go and check that out. Mikel Arteta has done his press conference ahead of Everton's trip to the Emirates tomorrow. He has said that the uh, Arsenal players are fired up and ready for this one. He did speak about Gabriel and Ricardo Calafiori. He said Gabriel has trained today and he's got a chance of playing. He said, but Ricardo Calafiori, they're taking medical advice daily and it looks likely that he will miss the Everton game tomorrow. But Gabriel, obviously, is a very good defender, very good offset pieces. So a little bit of a headache for Everton to have to mark in tomorrow. But why not? He might be, yeah, he mightn't be as on it defensively and maybe we can take advantage of a set piece as well. Both teams like a good set piece goal this season. And finally, Nathan Patterson has been linked with a January low move back to his old club, Glasgow Rangers. Uh, the Everton right-back has struggled to get any game time under Sean Dyke. He has suffered with injuries as well. He joined Everton three years ago next month from Glasgow Rangers. He's only made 49 appearances, been injury hit uh, and hasn't been able to get a sustained run in Everton's first team as yet. And for the Toffees, probably want him playing on a regular basis. It doesn't look like that under Sean Dyke. It looks like he's probably third um, in line for the right-back spot. So, therefore, if he's got the opportunity to go and play, uh, play in Europe, play games back in the Scottish Premier League for Rangers and get back up to fitness, he can probably be 
reassessed next summer. We'll see. Evan have apparently ruled out any kind of sale for Patterson in January, but we'll see whether or not they're open to a loan. Rangers are in the market for a new right-back. Looks like Tavernier is on his way out, but their backup right-back is also injured now and likely to miss the rest of the season. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you check out the Arsenal preview and Pet Start and 11 um, video. Get over there. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend. See you later.